two years with my Tesla Model 3. What an experience this has been. During the first year, I took the car for many adventures and I really enjoyed it. But this second year, it was not used as much as I liked. This is unfortunate, but we all know why. And I will not go into any deeper analyse of this. <laughs> but let's take it from the beginning. Looking back in the first month of owning this car, it was a great feeling. I had this car, it was new and fresh, with no wear and tear, and I could go and impress friends with the acceleration and show them the comfort, and also after some software updates, showing them the games that there is in this car. This Tesla Model 3 is considered to be the safest cars there is on the roads. It has been at my and my family's service, bringing us on different adventures, and it has been doing so without any problem, as long as I have been feeding it, not with fossil fuel, no, with electricity. So I'm so happy for this. If you didn't already, uh, you can be part of this electric revolution also, and buy a Tesla too. You can use my referral link and you will get some free supercharging if you do so. You will find the link in the description. But before you click and go ahead and order a Tesla, you should know that this car is not for everyone. Unfortunately not. The car has some things that people cannot accept. Different characteristics that cannot be fixed with any software update. For me, I can adapt to most of those things since I'm enthusiastic and the electrification is the important thing for me. But when I talk with friends that don't prioritize the benefit with an EV or don't know what the benefits are, they have different demands. My Tesla Model 3 falls down to the space issue. Uh, I don't mean the space up there, the space inside the car. Even if you can fit a lot of things in the Model 3, the opening of the trunk is driving people away from the model. They prefer a bigger opening and more space in the back. This is where the Model Y will have its place, with its cargo capacity of 1.9 cubic meter. But unfortunately, this car is only for sale in US, Canada and China. So if you all live in those countries, go ahead and order it. But here in Europe, we cannot buy this car yet. Not at least now, uh, at the time when I'm recording this episode. And my friends need to buy a car now, so unfortunately they go with a fossil fuel car. When Tesla's uh, Berlin factory will be ready, uh, it will be available here in Europe too. The prediction is that the uh, production of the Model Y will start in the middle of this year, 2021. Another thing is the price. Even if the Model 3 was advertised as the car for everyone, still the sticker price is high, especially here in the Northern Europe with our high taxes, the import taxes and the VAT and the exchange rate, all that uh, is not in favor to make the price attractive. Even so, the car has been selling quite well here in Sweden, but uh, I hope that the price will go down over time 
when Tesla starts to produce the car here in Europe. So people want bigger and cheaper. Simple as that. So even if Tesla will come out with a smaller version of a Model 2 or Model 0 or what they call it on the market that will have this lower price, it might not satisfy the large part of the population. We'll see how the market will look like in a year, but uh, apparently the production capacity of batteries is still less than the demand worldwide. So um, that will keep the prices from dropping. fantastic what Tesla has achieved during this uh, years but that didn't come without hard work investment and long time planning building factories with the capacity to meet the demand that is today I am so grateful to have the opportunity and the possibility to be part of this technological revolution that Tesla stands for because this car is something special. It has been and will be for the future. The brave design with only one screen in the middle was something like a revolution. So even now when the car is celebrating two year mark, it still feels modern and new in some way. Let's talk about service now. I have always before many times said that there is no, not so much service to be done on an electric car. Tesla have a recommendation regarding their service intervals, but you don't have to follow this in order uh, to keep your warranty. You will still have the warranty in place even if you don't go and do the service. But anyway, the recommendation of this uh, service interval says that the brakes should be lubricated once a year and every second year change of the wipers, filters and the check on the heating and cooling system should be done. That's it! I skipped the lubrication of the brakes last year, so I will now take the car for a service uh, very soon. But um, my excuse is that I didn't drive the car so much, like many others. Now after those two years I drove the car just a little bit more than 31,000 kilometers. Most of the time during the first year. And uh, a visual inspection of the disc brakes doesn't look so bad. At least not to my amateur eyes. So congratulations my Tesla Model 3 for those two years. And congratulations to all of you also living in the United States. Uh, that your government now changed the direction in the way of heading away from the fossil fuel era. Now there is so now when there is so many depressing things in the world happening, uh, this is a positive thing. The world has came to some kind of common goal, heading in a direction for a future that is renewable. It is late, and we can see the impact that a rising level of the carbon dioxide is doing to our world. But now we have the chance to do something together. When many of us have the common goal.
are you first time here in my channel and is curious of the way coming up to this two-year mark for me with my Tesla Model 3. There is plenty of episodes to go back and watch that I have done during those two years. And uh, please do also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any future episodes. Until next time, have a great life.